Okay, so this is for all Nedco customers that have a pillow compression machine or a compression machine in general. This one just happens to be for garments. And um, I'm basically gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through exactly how this machine works. So if anybody's confused on why it's not working and what you need to do to fix that kind of thing. So um, basic install video for compression machines. So the first thing that you need to do when you get a compression machine like this is you need to turn it, basically plug it in, 110 volts, okay? Get your power cord here. Now after that, you need air. You gotta have air, okay? This is quarter inch, okay? Now you got an air regulator here. You gotta have 80 to 100 PSI, clean, dry, compressed air. Now once you have all that, you are ready to go, okay? You got your air, you got, your, you got everything plugged in. Now here's your on off switch, as easy as that. Turn this on, now your light comes on, it means you have 110 volts coming into the machine, okay? Now if that doesn't come on, 99% of the time you blew a fuse, okay? Now, we can walk you through, just please call, we can walk you through how to fix that. Now, this switch right here, this is a compression switch, as you can see. COMP switch. Now, if you turn that on, this machine is going to compress your product. Turn it off, all it's going to do is seal your product. Okay? I suggest always keeping this on unless you're just bagging something randomly that you don't need to compress, which is very rare. Okay, so basically, this is how this machine works. Have your product in the bag. Now, you load the product. You load the product, Brian wants to come over here, there's a photo eye underneath the bed. Okay? Yeah, you can see it. So, photo eye there. So your photo eye reads the product. You good, right? Reads the product. Now, you've got two options here, okay? Depending on what you get, however, 99.9% .9 of any product that we send out, you get a foot pedal, okay? Foot pedal's in here. And then obviously you can use the photo eye generically, so once the photo eye reads something, it automatically cycles. Now to switch that on and off, the eye comes over here, right here. So the left foot pedal, which I'm gonna write that here, right is your photo eye. So once, if you've got it here, as you can see, watch this. I'm gonna put this in, and it's automatically gonna cycle without me doing anything. See? Okay. Which I didn't have that set up. Anyways. Okay, so there's your product compressed. Now, let's say I switch this back to the left. Put it in, as you can see, nothing is happening. You have to hold this foot down for the cycle. Okay? Now that you know that, okay. So, put the product in, photo eye reads the product. Now this is how this works. Once you, let's say you press the foot pedal, it cycles or it automatically cycles, this compression pad comes down, comes down, and it's gonna compress the product. Now this bar right here is a, what we call a guide rod. It's coming down, it's coming down. Now you've got a proximity switch right here. This, top side of this guide rod has to come past the proximity switch for the seal bar to come down and seal the bag. So for example, I've got a lot of customers that call me and they say, look, my compression pad's coming down but my seal bar is not sealing the bag. That's because this bar is not coming past this proximity switch, which as you can see, you can move the props up and down. You can move the whole assembly up and down right here with 7 16 wrench, okay? So loosen all these, move it up and down. Um, we're gonna mark all this so you know pretty much not to move it, but you can move it down, you can move it up. Uh, just don't go higher than the line there. Um, that is pretty much as easy as it comes. It's plug and play type equipment. You turn it on, you turn it off, okay? Now, now that you know how the machine works, this is basically your adjustment knobs here. Hey, like I said, you've got your on-off, compression, on-off. 
Now you got your heat. Now your heat's controlling your seal wires. Okay. Now on this one, I've got a flat and a round. The round's going to cut the bag. The flat's going to seal the bag. Now, for example, when you have this down to zero, normally you're sending about. I mean, you should be sending no volts to the seal wire, so you shouldn't be getting any heat here. Now, when you crank this up, you should be getting about 55 in the middle, 55, 60. All the way at 10, you should be getting 110 volts, which is coming from your main power cord. Okay, zero to 110. I suggest leaving it at five and a half, calling it a day. Okay, dwell control. Dwell control tells the seal bar how long to stay down while it's sealing the bag. So if you got it at one, it's gonna come down, it's gonna hit the seal bar, and it's gonna come back immediately. So I suggest keeping this about five and a half, sealing the bag, and then letting it basically do its thing. Um, two fuses here, which if you have to replace, you just twist them, take them out. Now this is a jog button, okay? This is going to bypass your photo eye for maintenance reasons. So let's say you call and you have an issue. First thing I'm going to tell you is grab a voltmeter and press this button. It's going to cycle it by itself without photo eye even doing anything. Okay, so if everything works, it means your photo eye is bad. However, um, that's basically how this works. On, off. I mean, you, you can leave the air on the machine. You don't have to do anything like that. Um, so that, that's the basic operation of a compression machine or a bag or sealer from, from Netco. And you've got a safety switch right here. So let's say you've got an operator here. This bag's not long enough, holding a bag here. And they get too close to the seal bar. You can press this and it will basically cut the electricity of the entire machine and reset itself. So nothing happens and the seal bar doesn't come down. Um, other than that, that's the basic operation. Next I'm going to go over some basic Teflon, the wires, and a couple things I want you to keep on your shelves moving forward for basic operation and um, preventative maintenance. Good? Okay. So this is Teflon. Alright. As you can see, there's a lot of it hanging down here. You don't have to get too close, right? Hangs down here with a weight on the bottom. Now this right here, Brian can see this. See how they're letting it go? Come up. So over time, this will be turned black because you just keep on sealing on it, keep on sealing on it. Now, once that happens, guess what? Move this up a little bit, get a new sheet. You're good to go, okay? That's it. It's easy as that. Now, which I gotta fix that, but that's one thing I want you to keep in your shelf. It's inexpensive. It's, it's easy to have, really. It's like $55 to keep up there. Now, flat round wire always have, you know, couple of those you never know what's gonna happen okay now underneath Teflon if I can get this up you see this transite bar which transite bar is basically what the wires are riding on okay on this one 24 inches wide you're gonna have two so we can cut it to where you can have one of these on your shelf at all times it's very important over time they will crack and you will need a new one so please keep on your shelf. Okay, so that's that's basically everything you need to know about this compression machine. Anything else, please call and we'll walk you through. But when you get this thing in, it's plug and play. I want you to put the air in. I want you to put your electrical in. Uh, make sure you have all that first. Turn it on. Turn your compressor on. Then depending on what you want to do, foot pedal to the left, photo eye to the right. Okay, this will all be covered. This is all electrical for personal reasons if, if you need to do maintenance but I would not suggest having that open at any time um, make sure your compressors on make sure you're on off side other than that put your product in I suggest using a foot pedal